Daniel, it's Jack. Daniel, get up, you lazy ass. Hey, bro. About time, man. I sent you a text ages ago. Sorry, I was out with the missus doing a bit of retail therapy. You know how mad he can be sometimes. Well, don't just stand there. Come up. So still with her then? Not gonna move back in here anytime soon? I only moved out six months ago, when we got married. Oh, but she's so boring, man. Yeah, right, I should be more like you. Mr. Risk Taker. Mr. Serial Internet Data. So? I get way more action than you, man. Yeah, but you also get dragged into all sorts of kinky stuff. Whips and chains and such. What about that time that I came home and found you tied to the bed after you matched with the hottest girl ever? What's all that? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> she had you tied down and then left you there. For what, an hour before I came home and found you? Forget that, that'll never happen again. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down, super stud! Anyway, forget the small talk. I need a favour from you. Okay, no problem. What is it? Look, bro, I've been chatting to this hot Muslim girl on this casual relationship site. No, no, sounds so hot. We want to meet tonight, but... But what? <laughs> that was me thinking you wanted to talk about something serious. It is serious. Well, serious for me anyway. Look, she sent me this message. I'm a Muslim girl from a very strict family, so meeting any guy for fun poses a lot of risk. Okay... So, I have to be sure that if I do meet you, that I can't be blackmailed, forced into anything I don't want to do, and I don't want to get caught by my family. Now that's a bit weird, bro. Well, read on. There are some conditions to me meeting you, as I want to make sure I feel safe. All I want to do is be shagged by you. Your pictures are so sexy, they really turn me on. So I have some rules before I ride your- Rules? Are you kidding me? One, you can't see me, so you'll need to wear a blindfold. Two, I will touch all of you, but you can't touch me, so you'll need to be handcuffed. Three, the lights will remain off. Four, when we meet, I won't talk to you. Whoa, bro. This is just too weird. It's almost as weird as that time you played a game with that older woman. Had a feeling you'd say that, but I believe we will have a great time. Well, I will if she does all the work. We've talked about what she'll do to me, and she sounds so great. She just needs my not-so-mini-me. Oh, come on. You've never met this woman. For all you know, it could be some sad git who spends all his time on the web. I haven't been laid in ages. I've organised a hotel room because she wants to be safe, but I do hear you, bro, and that's the favour. What is? I need you to drive me to the hotel room, and then you're going to have to make sure nothing happens to me. Oh, come on. Please, for me. Oh, fine. Cheers, man. Are you totally sure about this? Hey, it's all cool. She just texted me to say she'll be at the hotel at 8pm, so we're all good. Yeah, but wanting me to stay in the room. Well, her safety's important, but so is mine. As you said, anything could happen. Yeah, too right. I think I've told you my fears.
Are you totally sure about this? Hell yes. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Got your keys, man? Uh, yeah. Sure. Why? Gonna add the key for the handcuffs to them so we know where it is. It's nearly eight. You better get in the wardrobe while I set myself up. Don't need help. Nah. Gotta be done as though I'm the only one here. I've left the door on the latch, so hurry up and get in that wardrobe. I'm not sure I'll fit, but I'll try. Remember, if anything goes wrong, you'll rescue me, right? Right. Jesus, it's tight in here! Shut up, man! Just don't make a sound. <laughs> 